what's up guys welcome back to another beautiful day here in Antigua welcome to another video today we're going to be talking about my kite quiver fall quiver and wing quiver for this season 2022 let's jump into it one three five go uh, coming from the wild wild west indies okay guys so before we actually jump into today's video um i want to give you guys a quick tour of the spot because you guys have probably noticed if you've been watching for a while i haven't pumped out as many videos as i used to and that's because we started kite school so check out the spot Let's go for a little zone. Not much wind today, but we got a beautiful little zone here on Dutchman's Bay Beach. So we'll give you a quick tour. So yeah, as you can see, we got a nice little beach area. We got some boats over here. So we kind of teach from the boats, uh, take you way up when it's like kind of mind blowing what we've been able to create this year. So we're super pumped on it. So the kite school has kind of been taking up a lot of my time, uh, but this is my first video kind of holding myself accountable where I'm going to try and start pumping out a video every week. So if you guys got any ideas, drop them down in the comments right now. Go down there, leave a little comment, what you want to see, what you want to learn, all that sort of good stuff. While you're down there, also leave a like on this video because that actually helps the video kind of spread out. And basically, at this stage in the game, the better these videos do, is like the more pumped up, the more hyped I'm going to be to kind of keep on it and make sure I put energy into pumping them out. So yeah, do all that stuff and now we can kind of jump into the gear that I've been riding and all that fun stuff. Okay, here we go guys. First thing we're gonna talk about is twin tips. What twin tips have I been riding? So here we go. So this has been my go-to board since I kind of switched over to North Atmos Carbon full setup, 138 times 41, mixed in with the new flex foot straps. So this one's actually a freshie. Just got this one. Love the colorway. Got my little grab it handle, my little uh, board off. That's kind of a goal of mine this year to get better at uh the technical board offs and yeah this board has been a uh, super duper fun uh really grippy really good for jumping popping all that sort of stuff straps are real comfy yeah this board's awesome really love it and then next up we're going to talk about the flare this is the 143 by 42 this thing has not been getting as much love as it should um, and this is also the older model. I think they have a new one coming out in March. I've actually seen the graphic. It looks insane. So I'm definitely going to get that. And that should hopefully fire me up to get back into freestyle and park riding. But yeah, this board's awesome. Uh, we've got the fixed boots. Super good. As you can say, colorway matches up great. And this board actually has a slider base on it. So again, if you kind of like ride like how I used to ride, riding up the beach, hitting rails, kickers, stuff like that, you definitely want to have this. This has a slider base. So this will be able to ride at cable and be kind of like a bulldozer of a board and be able to power through any sort of terrain whereas obviously that was carbon you're not going to want to run up on the beach and do stuff like that with that um but yeah this has been a super fun board kind of a bigger size i've enjoyed the bigger size really good for getting a little bit more pop and a little bit softer landings so yeah there's awesome if you're into park or ripping up the beach doing that sort of stuff cool and then next up we're going to talk about kites so when i first kind of switched over to north uh, the reach, the reach, the reach was like kind of the main kite we kind of got fired up on. So we got a nice little 12 meter right here. And this thing's awesome, man. We use it at school. This is what everyone who comes through learns on. And this is what me, Megan, and kind of everyone who's kind of come across has been enjoying riding because it's a good uh, all around kite where you can teach on it, you can tread on it, you can foil on it. It's pretty light build, it's free strut. So it works really good in a wide range of conditions and it's just an easy, fun kite to ride. So I've been really enjoying that. But then recently, uh, I kind of got fired up on the big air. You know, I want to do a little bit of jumps, a little bit of board off, kind of switching up the style a little bit. So obviously, if you guys know anything about North, that's where the orbit comes into the conversation. So this one is awesome. Uh, this is a new model and they've improved a lot of stuff. Last year's model, I didn't really like it too much. I found it pretty uh, slow on turning and kind of unstable. Uh, whereas this one is a lot more stable and it just turns way nicer. So that combined with the awesome loft and lift from it, it's a super fun kite. Um, it's kind of a kite that you want to have in the quiver if it's pumping wind, kind of shines when it's like strong wind, whereas the reach kind of shines in all wind, light wind, strong wind, whatever. But yeah, orbit's great if you want to jump and float around. And then next up, we're going to talk about bars. So I actually ride the smallest bar in the quiver. This is the 38 centimeter to I think 45 or 42 or something like that, but it's a small, small bar. 
Now I've kind of always uh, ridden small bars and this is just because of my background doing a lot of wake style park riding. You kind of just ride a small bar because it's kind of more like a wakeboard handle versus a big old uh, bus steering wheel like on a big kite bar. And I still really like the uh, small kite bar. I run this on all sizes, orbit, reach, whatever I'm doing. I just kind of like the feel of the small kite bar. And yeah, as you guys know, North kind of makes one of the best bars on the market. Super clean, only the stuff you need. Awesome quick release. This makes it super easy when they're teaching lessons, picking people up. It's just like a dream to use. Port starboard, so if you're sailing, stuff like that's awesome. Uh, so yeah, this is going to be the bar that I've been using. And yeah, that's the setup kite wise. Cool. And then next up, we're going to talk about harnesses. So the beauty of being a part of North is that it's also a part of Mystic. So this has kind of been the main harness I've been rocking, the Majestic X, super sweet setup, standard harness. It's got the stealth bar, which has kind of been taking over the game. Just makes it really easy to clip shut. You only adjust your harness once, and set and leave it. So that's been cool. But I've only kind of had one gripe with most of the Mystic harnesses. Is everything's awesome, but the innards, the innards right here. This stuff, when you're riding like bareback, when it's just on your skin, sometimes over a long session, this rubber here, which I think is designed to give you a lot of grip if you're riding a wetsuit or something like that, starts to kind of really grab my body. So I've kind of been searching, asking, and trying to really push for my own little custom Jake Kelsic model harness. Haven't quite got there yet, but I think I've found the solution to my problem if you're someone who rides like um, bare skin a lot. Uh, I think this is gonna be the harness for you, which is the Warrior X. So again, very, this is a newer harness, I think. And yeah, pretty standard, still pretty stiff, probably not as stiff as that. Uh, but the innards are just nice and clean. So you see like in here right when it wraps around the ribcage, just material. So I think this is gonna be like super duper comfy, like a little tab wrapped around my body. Hope you get no grabs from it. So yeah, those are two harnesses. Um, harnesses these days are pretty awesome. There's a lot of different models out there. But yeah, any Mystic harness paired up with the self bar is gonna be sweet for you. Alrighty, so that's been the core of the kite stuff, what I've been doing for a long time. But now we're going to kind of jump into the kite foil and wing foil segment. Um, so yeah, I've really been getting into winging over the past few months. It's been super fun. I've kind of enjoyed it when it's really windy, pumping, crazy conditions. It's been super fun kind of getting out there, trying to ride some wind shop and do that sort of stuff. So wing wise, uh, North only makes one wing right now, which is the Nova. The five meter has kind of been my go-to for most wing conditions. We also have a 6 meter and a 4.2 for the school, but the 5 meter has kind of been the good all arounder. If there's any sort of wind, you can kind of have good power. Not too overpowered, but still small enough to kind of have fun ripping around on. So that's been super fun. And then foil wise, we're going to jump into that, which is right over here. So I've been riding the scoop since we kind of switched over to north. This board is awesome. This is my go to kite foil setup. Um, and then we recently kind of switched over to the full carbon set up and this thing is awesome i kind of forgot how nice a full carbon setup is it's just super stiff super responsive and really light like the first time you switch from like an aluminum to a full carbon setup you're like whoa it feels way different it's super light super responsive and that's been super fun um and then wing wise this is where it gets kind of interesting so i used to ride the 1150 that's kind of what i first switched over to when i first got on the full north setup but recently, I've had the chance to experiment with a couple different wings. And right here, we got the 1250 high aspect wing, which is a pretty big old girl. If you look at her, she is pretty large. But this is actually a super duper fun wing because I thought this was gonna be the dream wing, wing, wake foil wing, which it definitely is, but I wasn't sure if it was gonna be okay kiting. But it's actually also super fun on a kite. Uh, super lifty, super pumpable, um, but it's still totally rideable on the kite, even when you're ripping along. So this has kind of become my main setup for all conditions, because these days my foiling has changed big time. Back in the day, I was a kite foiler, that's it, and I think that's how it was for most people. You just go out, have a kite foil specific setup, and that's it. But these days, there's wake foiling, there's winging, there's prone surfing, and there's kite foiling. So like, most people are gonna probably try and find a setup can, that can kind of do it all. And this, I think, might be it. It's been super duper fun. Kite on it, wing on it, do all that, all, do all that sort of stuff. Um, so it's been a very versatile setup. And I got 85 centimeter mass. Um, so yeah, this is my go-to kite slash wing foil mass setup. And then kite foil. foil. All right. 
And then next up, we're gonna jump into the wing board. So, wing wise, I've been riding the Swell 410 41 liter. Most people are gonna be like, what the hell, bro? You ride this for wing? How's that even possible? And yes, it's a small board. It's kind of the only board I was able to get access to, but it's definitely big enough to learn how to wing. Um, if it's windy. So it's a sinker, you basically start sinking it, but once you have enough wind and you can pop up and get going, it's super fun. Cause it's a small board, it's super agile, really turny. and it almost feels like you're on a kite foil ripping, ripping along out there. So yeah, this has been a super duper fun board for winging, uh, wake foiling. We've also been using this for teaching people how to wake foil and get intro into being on a foil. So pretty good all around size. I think if you're, into, if you're a pretty good winger or a prone surfer, this is kind of the setup you may want to check out as well for 10. And then wing wise, uh, right now we got a short, short mask on it because we've kind of been using this to train people how to wake full. But then I just want to talk about another wing here. So we got 1500. Sonar 1500R. And this is a pretty awesome wing. Again, it's super duper big. Big wings are taking over, man. Uh, that's top tip. If you're like learning, buying a setup to learn and progress on, you kind of want to go on the bigger side of wings, I think, because you're just going to have a lot of versatility. You're going to be able to teach, you're going to be able to ride in light winds, you're going to get a lot out of a bigger wing. Um, so yeah, the 1500, when I first saw this thing, I was like, damn, this thing is pretty beefy. It's going to be interesting to ride. But even though it's so big, super good lift, and again, super fast. With most big wings, they have a pretty small top speed. Once you get to a certain speed, it starts to drag. Whereas this thing behind the boat, is just like, you don't ever feel that drag, which is pretty impressive. Um, so yeah, I've had a lot of fun with the 1500 wing, the 1250, and the 1150 wings. Woo wee! Alrighty guys, so yeah, that pretty much sums up the quiver. That was a lot of uh, tech talk, for sure. Who knows how long this video is going to be. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed that, uh, drop a comment down below with what you're riding. I'm always intrigued to know what people are into these days. Are you getting into winging? Or do you hate it? Are you in tight boarding? Big air? What are you riding? Drop that down in the comments below. Let's get a little conversation started on the gear. Gear is always fun to talk about. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it, booze. Big thanks for tuning in. If you're ever in Antigua, make sure you hit us up, kelsakiteboarding.com. We just started our business a couple years ago and we are stoked to share the stoke with you guys. We do wing lessons, kite falling lessons, kite trips, kite lessons, everything related to being out on the water and tapping into that nature. So yeah, check us out um, if you ever want to come down this way to Antigua. And that's pretty much it, booze. Big thanks for tuning in and we'll see you guys in another video next week. Peace, love, and big ups.